Hi Tango Dancer, we would like to improve your technique for the heroes and for the lapis. Today we have a very special guest teacher, Facundo de la Cruz. Facundo de la Cruz is a world champion tango dancer. Uh, he teaches and performs all around the world. And today is here in London in our studio. And uh, we are very happy, Facu, that you're here with us. Thank you, Pablo. I'm really happy to be here too. Thank you, Anne, and, and you and the community for Tango Space channel. He's going to share uh, uh, two tips, two exercises for you to improve your, your hero. Followers, don't think that it's only, only for leaders. This exercise is also good for you because it's going to help you to, to improve your, your balance and your technique in the, in the pivot. I want to share with you today uh, some technique for the heroes and how we can plus to this hero different kind of effects. When I say effects, I want to say like a lapises, enrosques, or whatever that you can do on the hero. So we will start to work uh, on the pivots. So the first uh, exercise is this one, that you can start to move your upper body being one foot. For example, here is in the left. Um, we will turn a little bit with the torso to the right, and then we will activate the pivot. So we want to move first the upper body and then the lower body. In this case, we are working on backward pivot. So backward pivot is when I am in my left and I try to go to my right. Or when I am in my right foot and I, go, I want to go to my left. So in this kind, the, the, the pivot is out or backward. Remember that you have another pivot that is when you are in your right foot and you go to your right. This idea we say, that is more forward pivot or like you turn more inside, inside, okay? So we will work in backward pivots. We can be in the left foot, move first your upper body, one quarter of hero of your lower body. So we can practice like a torso, quarter of pivot, torso, pivot, torso, pivot. In this case, I'm always in my left foot. Let's do to the other side. So I change way, I will be in my right foot and I go to the left. Again, first my torso, my upper body, I don't want to move hip and upper body, just upper body. Pivot, one quarter, torso, pivot, torso, pivot, torso, pivot. Try to, this idea is from up to down, we want to activate the upper body and then the lower body. Now we will try different. We will try to activate first the heels, the, the ankle, the lower body, and then the upper body. So the same system. We are in the, right, in the left foot and we go to the right. So first pivot, one quarter of pivot, then your upper body. Pivot, upper body, pivot, upper body, pivot, upper body again in the other foot change way if you are in your right foot you have to go to your left backward pivot so pivot first or hip try to activate your your ankles and your foot so the energy come more from your foot in the first one your energy come from your upper so this is something that we will mix then so in your right foot First the pivot, then the upper body. Pivot, upper body, pivot, torso, pivot, torso. Now we are going to combine these two energies. You have your upper body energy that comes more from your dorsal muscle, and you have your lower body energy that comes more from your ankles. So when we are on hero and we want to activate the hero, we have to combinate these two energy. So we can try. The same idea, always pivot backward, okay? So activate first your upper body and also your lower body to get half direction. Torso, half pivot in your lower body. So you generate tension with your upper and you move your hip like a half uh, hero. Okay, the same to the other side. We activate first the upper body, then the lower body that comes from my foot. 
torso, lower body, half hero. You can try torso, one quarter of pivot two, then associate to the other side, torso, one quarter of pivot, associate. So the idea is to start to get one quarter first, half hero, then three quarter, and then one hero you can try. The same idea. Activate your dorsal muscle, your upper body, and try to get one hero completely. In this case, you have to activate your upper body. When you are getting the three quarter release, the tension in your upper body. If you keep your, your upper body fixed, you cannot get one, one hero. So that's we, why we need to. Once we activate the, the lower body, start to push with my upper body anyway in this direction to get one hero. Okay, remember when, when you do your lapis, you don't need to activate first your pivot. So you can do the lapis, remember that the lapis we do in the backward ocho, general, backward ocho side step and forward step from the follower. So remember that um, I can start the lapis without pivot. This makes my, my axis more uh, with a, another kind of support. So if I pivot with her, sometimes I lose my balance. So I suggest that when, she, when the follower starts to move to the bad word ocho, I go with my lapis. And I activate my pivot just in the last moment when she's doing, or when the follower is doing, the forward and pivot before the parada. So the same for the other side. The only thing is that in the close side of the embrace, sometimes we need to open a little bit more the hip before the lapis. So, but this is the same idea. First I try to let go with my leg and then I activate my pivot. If you see, the pivot is a bad word pivot. If I take out the lapis, the effect, um, in my standing leg, what is going on is that I activate my torso for the bad word ocho, for, for the heat of the follower, my torso, and then I activate a bad word pivot to get the direction. The trick to do all of these heroes is that I can be, after a p whatever pivot, try to be in your, arrive to your heel and put the heel in the floor. Don't try to be in ball of the foot when you are doing this because you will lose your balance. Okay, so after a hero, a lapis, or whatever effect that you want to do, try to arrive straight in your own axis, not forward, straight in one line to be in balance. From here you can go down to look for paradas or you can start a new hero but you have to be more in your own. Be careful with this. So exercise number two. After the, the lapis we will continue to uh, with the hero and maybe we'll do the enrosque that is one effect. Um, remember that in the lapis you have one, two, you have this, this timing, one, two, three, some time parada, okay? So we will do in one, two, three, between, in the moment that you do the parada, you have to keep the hero. So in this moment, we will activate half pivot bad work to get another lapis. So if we want to continue the hero, we can do one, two, three, activate your pivot, one, two, three, activate your pivot bad work, and just with this pivot bad work, if you mix, you can be on, on the hero a lot of time. So in this case, in this case we start in the, in the, but with the lapis, in the bad word ocho, backside forward, and then I activate my pivot bad work, so we can start different to get another dynamic. For example, <clears throat> I can start in the forward side, leading forward side and activate this pivot bad work. So if I lead forward side and pivot, I pivot in the side step, I'm ready to do the lapis after this 
pivot. So they have, in general, I have more energy because I'm start with a lot of tension and dissociation in my, in my upper body. So it's here you can take another uh, speed and another power in the first pivot. So you can do lead forward side and then activate the pivot. And after you finish the pivot, you have to start faster with the lapis, okay? Forward side, back side, forward. This is more or less the timing. So the follower is doing forward, side, back, side, forward. Remember that the back, side, forward is in double time. Okay, so it's one, one, two, three. Forward, side, back, side, forward. Important here, if you first, you activate your pivot, forward, side. In this moment, before two, do the lapis, you have to be in your heel, you have to be in your own axis. Be careful to be forward. So this idea is in your own. If you want to plus uh, an effect, like an, uh, an enrosque, enrosque, you will do in this pivot backward. Forward side, forward side for the follower, enrosque for me, pivot for me. Forward side, pivot for me. Forward side and rosque for my effect. So remember that when I do this hero, I have to think in the hero of the follower. So I'm thinking this timing one, two, three, that is back, side, forward, back, side, forward. When I move my upper body, I lead side step and I do my half pivot backward to get again the bad ocho. Back, side, forward. Lead the side step. Side step, I do my pivot. And I am ready to do back, side, forward. Side step for, for the follower, pivot for me. In this moment, we have to do the, the pivot backward to get the other half hero that is in the back, side, forward of the follower. Okay, remember that this exercise is important for your balance, for your position, for the effect that you can generate with your body. And um, also this, in, this, in this case, you have to practice uh, alone, individual technique, but then the challenge is to coordinate with your partner. So all of this exercise that we do today, then we have to coordinate with the partner. So try to, when, when you practice, have this, um, practice for, for your individual technically and then practice to dance better with your partner. Thank you very much Faku for sharing these tips with us today and please if you like this video please like it and share it with your tango friends. If you are in YouTube please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We share weekly videos to keep helping you to improve your tango technique and your tango musicality. And please click on the notification bell so you, you will get a notification every time that we release a new video. And especially, please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.